Hey there, today I have not one, but eight ways to take personal responsibility for hitting your biggest goals. So if you are someone who struggles with follow through, you're gonna to wanna to save this video for when you wanna stay in bed or scroll through social media or do whatever you do to avoid what you know you need to do. And if you're new here, my name is Michelle Vaughn and I empower busy women to break free from emotional eating and transform their relationships with food in their bodies in six months or less so that they can live the life of their dreams. And my channel is all about the importance of mindset and lifestyle changes for weight loss success. So this month, we have been talking all about taking big action towards your goals and the tips I'm going to give you are critical for making that happen. All right, let's get into it. Number one, hold yourself accountable. I know this one's obvious, but when you take personal responsibility for your life, it allows you the freedom to tackle your problems and to celebrate your victories head on. So when you tell yourself you're going to do something, do it. The more often that you do this, the easier it gets and the more progress you will make and the happier you will be. All right, number two, ask for help if you need it. This is a big one because asking for help requires pushing our egos to the side so you can move forward faster. Yes, it can feel uncomfortable at first, but remember that most people love to help and it gives them an opportunity to be of service. So ask away. Number three, don't compare yourself to others. This one is so sneaky, but when you start comparing yourself to other people, it's easy to look at them and go, well, I'll never be as good as them, so I might as well just give up. But see, the thing is that we're all born with different strengths, weaknesses, and gifts. Comparing yourself to others robs you of the ability to express and build on what's uniquely you. So let other people inspire you, but also let your own gifts shine through because you never know who you will inspire. Number four, expect the unexpected. And when it happens, don't let it derail you. The thing is, it's pretty much inevitable that at some point you're gonna fall off track, so let's plan for it. There will always be obstacles. The key is to not let them stop you. These obstacles give you a chance to grow and learn. So keep pushing on. Number five, strengthen your inner circle. When you have a network of people who are working toward the same things that you are, it can really help motivate and inspire you. It can also provide valuable support when things get tough. You can make this support system online, at home, at the gym, or anywhere you find people with the same interests as you. Number six, take care of your body. When you eat healthy foods, get enough exercise, sleep well, manage your stress, and do all the self-care things, it gives you the energy you need to not only reach your goals, but also live a more full and active life. And that's what it's all about, right? Number seven, acknowledge your feelings and then act anyway. It's normal to get down sometimes and it's important to pay attention to it when it happens. But it's also important to get moving so that you don't get stuck in a negative rut. If you've had a bad day or a setback, you can do take care of yourself so that you feel better. Do it. Number eight, focus on the positive. If you notice that your inner voice has become negative or critical, stop it in its tracks. You don't deserve to be talked to like that. Turn it around so that you don't end up feeling worse or quitting. There's another way to take personal responsibility. You create a plan or work with a coach that can help you stay focused on the best actions that get results. If this all resonates with you, and you want to see how we can help you fast track your life towards the one dream you're, you dream about, let's set up a time to talk. Click on the link below and set up a free Busy Women's Breakthrough call with me to look at your top three struggles and find one thing that you can do to get moving toward your dream life. Make it an amazing week, and I'll talk to you next week.